The Muskogee County Sheriff confirms a man helping guard an Oktaha survivalist store accidentally shot himself this morning. The sheriff says he dropped his weapon and a bullet hit him in the arm. We first told you about the group of armed citizens protecting the store last night after the owners put up a sign calling their store a Muslim-free establishment. The store owner says they started getting threats when their sign became a global story. And News on 6 reporter Tony Russell spoke with the group providing security for the owners and the business. Men with rifles and guns stand over this survival and tactical gear store in Oktaha. The armed group of veterans and private citizens say they're volunteering their time to protect the Mayhorn family, who they say were threatened for putting up this Muslim-free establishment sign on the front door. But we have been threatened, and my family comes first before anything else. So my customers understand the need for the extra security because they don't want anything to happen to us. They want us here. They want to protect us. Opponents like the Council on American Islamic Relations say banning Muslims from the store is illegal and discriminates against an entire class of people because of their religious beliefs. Well, we're a little overwhelmed over the whole thing, to be honest. Um, both the positive and the negative, like I said, has been crazy. A um, little hurtful. Won't lie. Does hurt my feelings a little bit, but that comes with it. Nicole Mayhorn says she's received threats from Germany to New Zealand over the sign. County Sheriff Charles Pearson's deputies are monitoring the situation in Oktaha. The only thing that I ask is if, if they are, you know, true patriots, that if they, if, when the threats do come or if the undesirables do show up, that they will call us and allow us to handle it. Have you thought about taking the sign down? Uh, we have. We've considered it, but we will not. We stand with what we believe in. This is our right. Tony Russell, News on 6. Sheriff Pearson says his detectives are taking the threat seriously and are handing the information over to federal authorities.